Radical. So I'm in late night, uh, low power mode. But tomorrow, man, we're going to knock it out of the park with brand new comment of the week. Or maybe a rapid fire. Not sure. Got to do both of those. I know that. But now we're going to do some comment preservation. And Art tried to leave this comment two times. I don't know if he was successful. You know, YouTube, it's that annoying thing where you, you know, you leave a comment, you think everything's fine and dandy, but uh-oh, it's a word that YouTube doesn't like. Arbel says, update, Team Amico will give the E3 event a video June 14th. $50 less than a low-end version of a 7th gen console, the Xbox and PS5. And for this, shovelware ports! And then uh, it just kind of cuts off there. I don't even keep up with a lot of this stuff. I, I forgot about E3. But is it June the 14th? That's where big things happen. Big, big, big things happen. So, uh, you can take your guesses, place your bets on what Team Amico has in place to show off at E3. You know? I just hope this time that the, there's no lag on whatever they show off. Right? Let's say there's no lag. Let's say there's no lag and then they show off the best they can, right? I mean, E3 is a place where Nintendo and Sony and Microsoft generally tend to show off the the big stuff. Usually for Christmas time or years into the future. Sometimes it uh, just lies, like Scalebound. Yeah, that's a shame on Scalebound. That looked like it'd be an interesting game. There's a shame about Scalebound. Uh, sometimes there's things like Cyberpunk 2077, which is showed off at E3. And then they're really, really hyped up to the ceiling, and then it doesn't really deliver. But what about Team Amico? What will they be showing off? Cornhole? You know, the uh, the game with the, uh, where you throw the things in the hole, the cornhole, which somebody said it's a weird name for a title, because when people think cornhole, they think you're a-hole. All right? So we got cornhole, we got... Uh, it's day one cornhole. Then the ha, then uh, I was going to say hockey. I don't know why. I'm just kind of sleepy. The ice, ice game where you go down the ice, the skiing, the skiing game. Gosh, it's just so hard to end in the asteroid smasher where you smash those asteroids. And then the moon patrol thing, right? And then evil Knievel. It's got to be something bigger than that, right? Here's what I think. I think Team Tommy Tellerico Amico, I think the team has an ace up their sleeve. All right. I think they have something really big they're waiting to show off. They can't just release this thing with old Finnegan Fox and that's like the big title, right? No, they got an ace up their sleeve. I think they're going to redo like that uh, Aerosmith game that had the music from the Aerosmith. What was it called? Uh, Revolution something? Was it? I forget what it was. It was like a 90s game. Had Aerosmith music on it. If I'm wrong about this, just rip me apart in the comment section down below, right? Because uh, these late night ones where I'm sleepy, you know, I might make some errors here. But I tell you who will not make any errors. The great Tommy Tellerico will not make a single error. I predict... This is going to be a perfect show-off of the Amico, right? It's going to be perfect. And it's going to look, it's going to blend in right as well there with the Switch and the Xbox and the PlayStation. That's my prediction. Yep. So what do you all think about this? Are you really pumped up? And are you excited to see what Team Tellerico Amico, I don't know what they got. What's the official thing? Team Team Amico, is that what they say, right? There's a team of winners right there. So there you go, Art. About five minutes of me being sleepy, just kind of, you know, ring, 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 ring. Phoning it in tonight. i catch you all tomorrow. Take care.